Hello everybody, welcome back to Football United TV. If you can see me right now, I'm on, I'm on my lunch break at the moment, taking a little stroll. And I was going to update you last night on some transfer news and um, the Carabao Cup game. Aston Villa beating, of course, Leicester City 3 to an aggregate there in the final of the Carabao Cup. Congratulations. But I wanted to give you a vlog. Because Bruno Fernandes is on his way to Old Trafford. The two clubs, Man United, Sporting Lisbon, have agreed the deal. It's around about 67 million. That's with add-ons. That was the price that pretty much Sporting Lisbon were asking. So he is pretty much on his way now to... Old Trafford. And it's taken a very long time to get this through. Reports coming in also that Barcelona are trying to nab him. Even now, even as he's on his way on a plane to Manchester. But <clears throat> he doesn't want to go to Barcelona. Reason being is the Premier League for him is a dream. He's always wanted. And that's why he's been turning down Barcelona. I think they even offered sporting more money and him in a contract but he turned it down but they're still trying to nab him apparently and they could do they really could do he could change his mind and he could he could have bought the medical for man united and everything but i'm 99 percent sure this is happening now that's not the only news sorry that's not the only news that i wanted to give you today <sighs> some terrible news actually man united fans attacking the house of Ed Woodward. Now attacking his house with flares, it's not, it's not right, you, you can't be doing that. Now I don't like him either, I think, I think he's a bit of a ponce for the club. He is very bad at making deals with football players, we all know that. His first signing was Maran Fellaini, if you remember that, so you know he's not very good at making deals. He's good at doing deals for Man United in sponsorships, and merchandise etc etc but yeah he, has, he hasn't been very good at buying players but that's still no excuse to be attacking his house where he lives luckily he wasn't there he was doing the deal for Bruno Fernandes and you kind of think why would you try and upset this deal right now he's just about to get his wallet out and actually get a decent player that we need for the rest of the season because we're struggling all Man United fans out there watching this, you know, we're struggling. Very bad time for us. So getting a player like Bruno Fernandes is key. Definitely key. And this news of, like I say, the fans attacking Ed Woodward's house, it's disgraceful. It's very disgraceful. And you should be ashamed of yourselves. And you're going to get bans as well. Lo Celso has obviously gone to Tottenham as well on a permanent move. And Tottenham have also bagged themselves Bergwin. Bergwin from PSV. That's right. Good little player he is. Fastest player in the Eredivisie, which is the Dutch league. And they've got him. He's had a medical and he's passed and he's signed, sealed, delivered. And another big bit of news coming out. Tottenham as well. Also involving Arsenal. And also involving Chelsea in one thing. Olivier Giroud looks like he could be going to Tottenham Hotspur. Third club it could be in his career in the Premiership. Third club. Not only that, all London clubs and three of the biggest rivals in London as well, you know? It's mental. So if that move goes through, that's I don't I don't actually know any players that have played for all three clubs. If anybody out there does know that, actually I do, there is one. Gallas. Gallas played, didn't he? He played for all three. That is correct. So there has been another one. But we'll be back on later with Eric to talk about Chelsea, talk about a lot of transfer news, talk about the Bruno Fernandes update. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick vlog now just to sort of let you know that it's a done deal. Bruno Fernandes has agreed and so is Sporting Lisbon. He's going for his medical and it should be confirmed in the next three or four hours. We will confirm it with you on Twitter and also our Instagram. And if you're new to the channel, 
please hit that subscribe button, share, like, and thank you for helping us out. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.